Hi, Brittany. Sorry, I, I dropped a ball on your feedback. So here it is. Um, so um, your course looks really good. It has everything you need in it. Um, I like the fact that you've got uh, a tutorial here. But I'm just wondering, uh, it looks almost looks like the student has to download it. So it's important to um, put your you know put your Jing file, upload it on the screencast.com. You don't want to have it sitting here because it doesn't well, it's not working for one thing. So, you might want to check that out and see uh, what's going on with that. Um, this is actually a live chat that you've got here for getting to know each other, so that's the wrong kind of tool. You need to have a forum here. You can't, this is a live chat, see? So if they go here, they're in live chat, they can't post anything. So they can't follow your directions up here so you want to actually um, add a forum for that <clears throat> okay so not a live chat for inter getting to know each other you need a forum I like the fact that you've got text and stuff in the beginning um, once again I think you're mixed up because once again, you've got a live chat. Um, I think it's pretty important to use a forum for this, not live chat. Live chat means that everybody's got to be talking at the same time. So that's not going to work for discussion in an online class or a hybrid class. You have to have a forum for that. So can you replace this with a forum instead of a live chat? Live chat has very limited uh, uses. <clears throat> so you do have a form here, and that's good, but you're telling him to post to the live chat, so I think you should rethink that. Also, if you're going to put a link in, you should always make it a live link. So, for example, this link here, otherwise it doesn't do students any good. So I'm going to copy that, and so I could either just make that a live link. See how it's a live link now? So, um, you got to have it a live link. Also, uh, make your font bigger. There's no need to have a tiny font. People can't read that. So, see what it looks like now. See, a little easier to read, and then they could just click on the link and go to the article okay all right so going back to the front page of the course um, I notice you have Times New Roman as the font and that's actually not a great idea because um, it's hard for people to read uh, it's Times New Roman, and so it's better to stick with like Trebuchet or something like that, which is a cleaner font. Okay, <laughs> let's see. We'll take take a look at how it looks. It doesn't have all those little. See how this is a clean, straight font. This is Times New Roman, and if you go down here, see how it's a little easier to read. In this font. You really want to think about readability when you're putting stuff on the internet. Okay, so um, you, you've really got a lot done and I appreciate all your work. But uh, if you could just make those few little changes, I'll be happy. Alright? Take care.